A wheelchair-bound college student reached out to us wondering why she's having trouble getting the accommodations she needs on campus. It's a story that anyone with a friend or loved one with a disability can likely relate to. WPTV's Chris Gilmore pushed for answers from the school and attorneys about priorities and what's required under law. Palm Beach Atlantic University campus in the heart of downtown West Palm Beach, both busy and beautiful. Great location for the students and staff who work and go to school here. But for one disabled student I spoke with who uses a wheelchair, not ideal to get around without the proper accommodations. We are not including and welcoming students with disabilities. Senior Savannah Carr says accommodations like automatic door openers are hard to come by on campus. I shouldn't be having to fight to have basic rights to go to class, especially when I pay so much in tuition. She's frustrated. It's what moved her to write to us. Reach out to you guys first because I grew up watching WPTV. Growing up wasn't easy for Carr. She broke her back in a trampoline accident at 12, which spiraled into a host of other issues, some of which are the reasons she's been using a wheelchair for the past few weeks. It's also what led her to PBA's Office of Accessibility, looking for an aid to help her get around campus in the absence of automatic doors. And they said, no, it would be my responsibility to find someone because they do not want to put the burden of helping me on another student. I hate using being told that I'm a burden, even if it's implied. We reached out to the university for more info on the status of accommodations like cars looking for on doors and got a statement in response saying in part, quote, we've been working to make our entire campus easily accessible to our students, faculty, staff, alumni and community. This is a high priority for PBA, end quote. The university also acknowledged not all of their spaces are accessed easily, especially their older buildings, some of which Carr regularly uses for class. She was curious about the Americans with Disabilities Act, an accessibility law dating back to 1990. We asked a local expert, disability attorney Greg Sconzo. Does the ADA extend to private universities in the state of Florida? The answer to that question is a very simple yes. Um, so private universities, both are places of public accommodation in that colleges, universities are places that are open to the general public and plus they receive public funding. Whether the changes come now or later, Carr says she's happy she's speaking up. I'm not the first student. I'm, I'm not the only, there's other students, there's other people. Um, this is my fight, not just on campus. Anytime I see something unjust with anybody with a disability, I argue about it. In West Palm Beach, Chris Gilmore, WPTV News Channel 5.